So this line here is very similar to the red line Alan has on his chart. That's, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. This, this line he shows here is, very, is almost the same as, as the jump I show here. <laughs> yeah. What shape would such ships have to be to make such a trip? I initially came up with, with this design, with a central uh, uh, circular uh, symmetrical shape. This top uh, figure shows the uh, field resonance system in its, uh, its uh, space-time jump mode where it initially rises up to a certain point and as it rises up, as the pattern gets closer to the resonance point, uh, the colors uh, can change showing the higher energy uh, of flow. And uh, you do get an effect uh, in this concept that is very similar to what is observed in, in some uh, UFO sightings. Okay. Dave, uh, concerning the Pleiades, they're about 500 light years away from our planet. What would you estimate the time in this form of travel? So we're talking about uh, on the order of eight, eight hour transit times between the, wow. the Earth and the, and the system such as the Pleiades star cluster. Mm -hmm. wow. According to Maya, the Pleiadians make the trip in something over seven hours. Maya also says that the Pleiadian beam ship's use of the magnetic field of the Earth is something our scientists are close to being able to accomplish as well. Using this information, the computer is able to project from one series of Maya photographs the flight path of the beam ships and the Earth's magnetic field. While the contacts continue, life on the farm proceeds at an even more hectic pace. To help free Maya, volunteers take on a lot of the routine work. But their very presence, their questions, even their enthusiasm create as much strain as they relieve. The last 20 or 30 years, there was uh, many people who have seen UFOs. There are many people around the world who like uh, sensation only. Um, other one who are doing hoax to get money maybe, to get a name. But there are really many contacts and many people who have uh, seen UFOs. Between his work for the Pleiadians and the demand for his attention on the farm, Maya finds little respite. For moments of precious solitude, he retreats to the land he knows. Above everything stands one force alone. We call it the creation. It regulates the laws over all, the life and death of everything in the universe, because it is everything in the universe. Real spirituality comes from the understanding of the laws of nature, the natural working of cause and effect, each contributing to and sharing with all. When you indulge in ritual and ceremony, real spirit pines away until it is gone. A spiritually developed being acknowledges creation in all things, from the largest to the smallest. Following this way, fears and doubts vanish like rain before the sun. The story is by now a sensation in the European press. Every major magazine features Meyer and his photos. Television coverage from as far away as Japan spreads the message to a public hungry for even more information. The quiet farm is suddenly a mecca. Inundated with visitors eager to meet Maya, see the photos, hear his experiences firsthand. But Maya cannot refuse anyone. It is the promise he made to Samyasi.
You have whole organizations which investigate our beam ships, but they have little material which is really authentic. However, the authorities already know much about our existence, but they continue to deny the fact of our existence, or even the fact of their research. They want only to rule the cosmos, but they are not even able to create on Earth peace among themselves. Many of those who come seek answers, assurance, even the promise that someone or something will save us. If we want peace and knowledge and law and everything here on earth, we have to change everything by ourselves as human beings from this earth. Despite a severe language barrier on both sides, Brit Eldus has grown close to the Maya children. Yes. And Gilgamesh a Maya. Yes. Could you ask Atlantis for me if he's had any discussions with his friends in school mm -hmm. about what has happened with the experiences? Mm. Mama, yeah. And sometimes. And Than was handsified. They said always it's it's not true what he say. Aha. And Methuselah, has he talked to any of his friends? And you, have you met your mitschulen Oh, yeah. And what have you said? They have always said, Ufo Meyer. He said they make jokes with him and said to him, Ufo Meyer, Ufo Meyer, like this. <laughs> and oh. then they, they have to go to the teacher, and the teacher said to the other uh, people, why you say Ufo Meyer to uh, Methuselah? And so they are quiet now. Would you ask them for me if they wished that their father had never had these experiences? Atlantis say on one side yes and the other side no. Why the one side yes? When the UFO is a If Billy don't have seen this UFO, they, people don't come to us and not so much fun for him. Not so much fun for him. It is especially hard on the children. With the publicity, security measures have tightened up. The children are taken to and from school, and their activities around the farm restricted. Most vestiges of a normal life have disappeared. But when a threat does appear, it is not from assassins or kidnappers, but a wholly unexpected source. One night, the household is awakened by a brilliant light that bathes the whole area in an eerie glow. Maya, disturbed because he has had no telepathic indications, grabs his gun and his camera. The light changes shape and intensity. It moves out over the valley, illuminating the valley floor, rising and falling until dawn, then disappears. At his next contact, Maya asks Samyasi about the phenomenon. She has no explanation. The Pleiadians do not know what the strange lights could have been. Maya is shaken. You know, everything is going on more and more difficult. I get trouble. I get trouble here in Schmidrüti. I get trouble with the government, with the people around. And I can understand you know, this, Billy. It's not unique. Anybody that has an experience runs into problems, but the experience is unique. You, you've got to keep yeah, going here. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, there come some people here from the morning to the evening. Too many of them, all of them want to talk with me. I get trouble with them because I say no. There is some other people who likes to kill me who likes to kidnap uh, the children. I know it's got to be very hard on you, Billy, but we've got to go on. Yeah, that's to say very easy for you, now, but not for me. I put a lot of time in this. We've taken yeah. your pictures back, we've tested them, we've tested the metal, we've tested the sounds. They all test good. You've got the best evidence that we have in any case, and I've been at this for 20 years. 